Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is another video looking at some of the top new features of the May 2019 update coming in a few weeks to a computer near you and in this video we'll start by looking at Cortana. Cortana is now on its own and she is or the assistant is now in the taskbar separate from search so you'll see this little circle uh, in the bottom left and that circle is where Cortana is. Of course you will also have in that Cortana uh, settings. Settings for Cortana are now and uh, even more concentrated in its a separate setting within the Windows settings so Cortana gets its own settings. Nope, unfortunately for those that are still asking for this you cannot turn off Cortana yeah, I know, there's that registry trick that you can use, but I'm not going to explain that here, maybe in a separate video. So basically, this is what's happening, and Cortana is, of course, separated from the search, which is a, what a lot of people wanted, actually, to um, have a separate Cortana from the um, search in Windows 10. Second, in the settings, there's now new options for logging in. Uh, it's a simplified panel, first of all, so when you actually go into your accounts and you look at sign-in options on the left side, you will see that there are new sign-in options. There's not just the PIN, there's, of course, Windows Hello that was already there, there's a little fingerprint if you've got a fingerprint reader, and, of course, PIN that I'm using, but now it accepts security keys it accepts the sign in with an account password, but you know what? It can actually let you sign in with a phone. So if you got your phone, you can actually unlock your PC with the phone, not just with the PC itself, which is kind of nice. And of course, a picture password and all the details are here. Still, general settings like dynamic lock that is supposed to, um, you know, lock your PC. That was already there, but easier also to understand and manage the sign-in because it was kind of weird before it was under uh, there was you know a setting for signing in and in there it wasn't totally clear what you were actually doing or where you needed to you know get whatever sign-in option you wanted they kind of simplified this made it more visible and easier to understand each different option uh, on this um, sign-in panel and of course we all know that at some point, Windows 10 brought the dark theme within your Windows 10 operating system. And now it's bringing the light theme. Now you might say, well, wasn't that the option that Windows 10 added at the beginning? No, it's, it was more like a white uh, mode. Now, light theme is kind of not white, but rather a light colored, like a grayish light colored, um, you know, setting. And of course, you can activate these new settings in the settings if you go into the personalization option and of course on the left side you go to colors you will see that choose your color and you have the light you have the dark and you have custom custom means you can decide if windows itself is light or dark in apps or light or dark or the other way around and of course um, the light or dark team applies to everything still of course inconsistent yes i know but uh better than nothing and it's getting there slowly of course so three more set three more new features that are introduced in the may 2019 update coming in a few weeks from now if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching